Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be talking about consensus theorem uh, used for simplification of Boolean expression. And we'll solve an assignment question. This video is primarily on the request of a student. In fact, it is based on his calculations. So thanks. Okay, what is consensus theorem? The meaning of consensus means it is redundant. And again, it's a difficult term for our students. So redundant is actually what is no longer needed. Extra. Now, let's see. If we have a Boolean expression like this, we can take help of uh, K-map to plot this. So this term is the uh, AB is, this is AB here. You can plot uh, on a K-map. A dash C is plotted like this. And BC is plotted like this. Now you know uh, that through the K-map we can simplify. So basically we can simplify it like this. So it will be AB plus a dash c. So this relation is simplified as a b plus a dash c. Now if you note the first two terms are the same so that means this term was redundant not required. So this can be eliminated. And that is the theory given by uh, our theory known as consensus theorem that is <coughs> If we have a pair terms like this, one of which contains a variable and the other contains its complement. So this is a variable A and this has the complement of A that is A dash. Then we should, to find the third term, we should contain the remaining variables from the pair eliminating selected variables and its complement. What does this mean is that from here if we eliminate these two, the selected variable and its complement, then whatever is left, that is the redundant term. This can be eliminated. And that is what we see so here. So A and A dash this has, this pair has term B and C, B, C, so B, C can be eliminated. So this technique is followed for simplification of Boolean algebra. So let's solve an example to clarify uh, the concept. So this is the question. And now if you see the first two terms, here we have A and here we have e, A complement. So whatever is associated with them, that can be eliminated. That is B dash C. So B dash C is here, so that can be eliminated. And now our uh, equation becomes like this without B dash C. And now you see, uh, if we can further eliminate, look for more options. Okay, now if you see here, we have C and C dash, so C and C com complement, so A and B can be eliminated, that means this term can be eliminated, and so the answer will be this. Now I guess that we cannot further eliminate anything from here, so this is the final answer. So this is one way of simplifying. Another example, simplify this by consensus theorem, same technique. Now here we are using brackets, so this is the actual, this is the correct technique of solving this problem. If you see these two, putting a bracket, we have A and A dash, so what can be eliminated is B dash C. 
Now look for B dash C in here. This is B dash C, B dash C. So we get, we we put a bracket. That means with the help of these two, we can eliminate it B dash C. So we put an arrow. What other options we have? We have to go pair by pair. Now from here you can see C and C dash complement. So A B can be eliminated, and here is A B. So we draw an arrow like this. So this can be eliminated. So these two can be eliminated, and therefore remaining is the answer. So this is the answer. Okay. Now that was uh, uh, the example given was sum of product terms, and uh, now we have. product of some terms and this is called dual of consensus theorem so exactly same way just look at this from this we eliminated bc and we got this answer similarly if you go uh, to the uh, product of some terms so this will be a plus b a dash c will become a dash plus c and for bc we can write b dash c and so uh, from here now look a and a bar are complement so we look at these two what can be eliminated b plus c so this b plus c can be eliminated so this is the answer and now we let's solve an example we following same technique it copied and from here as you can see a and a dash so bc can be eliminated so b dash c any other we have to look for it okay so we eliminated this so this is the answer and here we have to look again can we eliminate anything else so look here this and this we have a and a dash so b d can be eliminated that means this term can be eliminated so we have put the bracket across this and this is leading to the term that can be eliminated so this is eliminated and so our final answer is this now this we did in 3 4 steps uh, you can do it in just one step so same thing this was the upper part and this is the other uh, option selected so from here b dash c can be eliminated and uh, b dash d can be eliminated so this is the final answer and now we come to the uh, assignment question that the student solved that is prove the identity of the following boolean equations by using consensus theorem only so this we have to prove left side is equal to right hand side now since the expression cannot be simplified any further if you look there is nothing that we can do with this term there is nothing common same here there is nothing common so we cannot eliminate anything so since the expression cannot be simplified any further and also there is no common terms between the left hand side and right hand side so nothing common between these two so we cannot cancel therefore we have to expand the expressions to get more terms so this is interesting we have to now expand go opposite of simplification and just as we did the simplification we will follow similar rules so this is the left hand side now from here you can see that bb dash means a c dash can be added earlier we were eliminating now we'll say this will be added because this has no value this is redundant whether we keep it or we don't keep it, uh, it does not make any difference but this time we're going to keep so this one similarly from here c c dash complement so b d dash can be added and from here you can see d d dash so c a dash can be added and similarly these two uh, a a dash so b dash d can be added so these were these are the four terms 
that we can add without uh, changing the value. So our equation becomes like this. The initial four terms here and the later four terms we have added. And now let's see if there is any other possibility. Yes, there are. there is possibility. If you see from here, we have B dash and B. So we can add A D dash, so A D dash. Similarly, we go one by one. We, we select this and find a term from here. So C dash and C, and therefore B A dash can be added. Similarly, between these two C B dash and between these two D C dash. So the total terms will become first four, then the second four, and the third four, all these four terms. So we got these 12 terms. Now there's a very interesting observation. Uh, if you uh, note, these are the first terms that we had. This is the question. If you go down, you can see this was A plus B dash. So this has added E A plus C dash and also A plus D dash. So all four variables A, B, C, D. Similarly here B, C dash, so B, D dash and B, A dash and similarly in the C and this one. So this is a very good uh, uh, observation and you can use this to simplify or add terms on the right hand side. Now from here we have uh, two, uh, two options. One is we simplify this equation uh, which we will do in the next slide or other we write a similar uh, 12 terms equation for the right hand side and see if the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. So first of all I will do that. So the right hand side based on exactly this similarity I'll add that this, this was the give first term, terms given a dash b so we can add a dash c and a dash d this makes a b c d similarly this one is b dash c so c d a and here we can you add d a b and here we can add a b uh, c and if you just arrange these terms this will be exactly same thing so we can say that the left hand side and is equal to right hand side. This is proved. Uh, but if you want to simplify, then uh, again we, we go with this. Now keep in mind that this is what we want. This is the right hand side. The, the bottom line you can see uh, is this one. A dash B, B dash C, C dash D, and d dash a. So we will not disturb these rather we will try to eliminate these two lines. Okay. So let's start by eliminating and there is a caution. If you eliminate the second row first between these two then you will not be able to eliminate the first row. So first of all we have to eliminate the first row. Okay. Now let's see between these two then here you can see a a dash so what we can eliminate is b c dash so b c dash we can eliminate between these two we have uh, b and b dash so we can eliminate c d dash so we eliminate this similarly from here we eliminate this and similarly between these two we eliminate the last one so what we get as this and now we can eliminate this row as well just follow from here a and a dash so we eliminate bd dash so bd dash will go go from here b and b dash so eliminate a dash plus c a dash plus c and similarly you can verify so all the top line is gone so whatever is left that is the right hand side if you just uh, rewrite this. You 
know, B A dash is actually A dash B same. So just rewriting, we can say that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So I hope this uh, gives you an idea about consensus theorem. Thank you.